What is going on, Charles Botenston here, and we are continuing that beautiful thing called a habit, consistency, going directly to you guys. So what are we going to be talking about today? The number one thing that you need to be considering and or thinking about in the future. And to be honest, uh, Cal Newport called it the number one differentiate, differentiation between the successful and the non-successful in the coming years. And the reason being is that we have this phone and I'm pointing to uh, live, my phone to the right of the camera, and that thing has literally separated the masses. It has put people that know how to actually, and I'm gonna say it right now, delay the gratification of going on their phone, the delayed gratification of checking their email, the delayed gratification of saying, you know what, what's important right now? Delayed gratification is the number one thing. It is so hard to get on an elevator and literally not check your phone. Those are the minor things that we need to do to be able to build up the willpower to do the things that we need to do. Okay, I talked about time chunking yesterday on BPI Live. So you have the macro day and then you divide it by three different regions. Before you go to work, the morning, and the afternoon. And in that order is importance, in my opinion. The afternoon, that's where you have your appointments, that's when you just do things that, you know, follow up on email, you follow up on your calls, your text, things that you don't really care about. You know, yes, they're important. Morning routine, very important. You have your number one thing that you need to be talking about, which is, for me, sales calls. Okay, for you, it could be, I don't know, reaching out to 10 influencers, it could be emailing 10 prospects, it could be, I don't know, whatever it is for you, your number one thing. It all starts in the morning routine. The morning routine is the delayed gratification, which is hitting the snooze alarm, not meditating, not journaling, not eating healthy. The delayed gratification is literally saying, I see a salad and I see a beautiful sandwich. <laughs> what am I gonna do? The delayed gratification is saying, I understand that if I have this sandwich, nothing is gonna happen. But if I keep on having a sandwich, if I keep on not going to the gym, if I keep on not making sales calls, you get hit right here. Les Brown talks about it all the time. He says, listen, you know, you do what's hard, your life is gonna be easy. You do what's easy, your life is gonna be hard. So if you do what's easy, which is indulgence, social media, TV, going out with your friends, over boozing, waking up late, being hung over, not going to the gym, that's fine now, it's not a big deal, but the delayed gratification is going to bite you later on when you have ill health, you have medical bills, you have no money to pay for it, and you, you can't even move around, you don't have the energy to go and say, you know what, I'm gonna go to the gym today. Well, now you're 55, 60 something, you have almost 200 pounds on you right now, or you don't have the money to afford the gym, so you have to walk around or hire a trainer or a dietitian, or you're living in an area where healthy options are really challenging, Okay, that delayed gratification didn't help out. The delayed gratification, I know for myself, is it really comes down to willpower. What's your willpower when something meets you head on, which is, I got this email that I want to get back to. I got this trip I want to, uh, to actually plan. I got this, you know, this, this date I want to set. Those delay the gratification will be the number one thing because this phone, as Tim Cook said in his last, I forgot what they call it, Worldwide Developers Conference. Well, now I do actually know what it's called. The Worldwide Developers Con Conference, which is obviously Apple's, it's their mid-year kind of what's coming online. They didn't announce any products. Maybe they did, but nothing major. No, no MacBooks, no nothing. But one of the major things that I got about, about it was the software update. So the new iOS is gonna come with, you can see exactly track, you know, obviously Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and all these other apps are saying, oh, that's terrible. Well, no, it's actually really good because it's hurting our kids. It's hurting the people that are just going like this, let alone the physical things, which is your neck is like this, looking down at the phone, but it's actually the psychological effects that's happening, which is I wanna be somewhere or I'm comparing myself to someone else and you see it on Instagram, you say, how does this person have such a perfect body? I don't know if it's Photoshopped or whatever, but they're comparing themselves to that. And they say, okay, how do I get there? Dude, it's not about that. It's not about that. It's the fact that they said, you know what? During this one hour, I'm delaying the gratification of eating terribly, of actually going to the gym instead. Okay, you go to a place, there's, 
it, it, it's really hard. It's really hard. And it's, it's, it's not overnight and it's consistent and you're not going to see results. I'm not seeing results from this. You know, and I'm not saying anything about the people that subscribe to the videos. Obviously, I love you guys, but 3,100 subscribers as opposed to the amount of YouTube channels that have millions of people. They're getting paid to do speeches. They're getting paid to monetize their, their content. I notice that right now, I'm actually getting more comfortable. Not only in front of the camera, I'm getting more comfortable, you know, outside talking about personal development. That at one time when that phone call, when that phone rings or email comes in and it says, hey, listen, can you speak at this event? Or, hey, listen, can you talk about this? Or, can you debate about this? Or, you know, can you meet with me? That one opportunity, me saying, you know what, do I, do I actually keep on producing videos even though there is no, there is no monetization? I'm not monetizing my videos, probably ever, never, actually. Because that's not my main business. My main business, I wanna build an actual business. So the delayed gratification for me is super hard because there is no gratification. What am I delaying? I'm delaying the opportunity into the future of actually making tons of money and the impact that I actually wanna make. That's really what it comes down to, is that, that, that's my legacy, is, is eight billion people know that personal development, it's actually cool. And you don't have to go into the whole woo-woo, bouncing around at a Tony Robbins event. I mean, this area I want to improve, okay, what do I need to do? Okay, let's look at your diet. This area I want to improve is money or wealth. It doesn't really matter, whatever it is. You look at it and you say, okay, I gotta save more. Okay, let's focus on debt. Let's focus on how much I'm spending, you know? The delayed gratification of seeing something you really like and saying, you know what, that's the perfect example is money is, do I really need this product? Do I really, truly need this brand new car? Do I really, truly need these heels or these clothes or this app? You know, do I really need to be on here? So I'm just gonna give you some practical advice, something that I do, which is I put the apps in, the apps that are addicting, in the hardest places, I still need it. Like I still need Facebook, which I'm gonna go live on BP, BP, BPI YouTube channel. I still actually need that app, Facebook, but I put it in a folder on the second page of that folder because if I see it, I'm probably gonna go there. It's the same thing with you, is that if you bring alcohol home, you're probably gonna drink it. If you bring shitty food home, you're probably gonna eat it. The delayed gratification starts not at home because your willpower is nothing then when you're really hungry, you're like, ah, eh, screw it, whatever. The willpower actually starts at the supermarket. So the number one thing, so you start by doing the minor things, which is, you know what? You catch yourself. You're opening your phone. Most people make it a habit where they open their phone, they go right to uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, email, text messages, dating apps, whatever. And you look at it and you say, okay, um, I'm on here right now. I am now self-aware. When I do two scrolls on Instagram going through the feed, I click out. So I, I do one scroll, I like maybe three photos, then it's an ad. And then I go, whoa, you know, you catch yourself. You become more self-aware. So the number one thing is, is meditating because you're able to actually be more self-aware on when I need the, when it's addicting and I need that escapism of TV, of food, of alcohol, um, you know, of gaming. I know Chris mentioned you wanted to stop gaming. It's like, when, what leads up to the gaming? So I'm gonna drop it there. I, there's so much that I wanna actually talk about, but we're gonna be talking about uh, a couple other things this week. We're gonna be obviously producing a video a week. We're gonna be going live right after this on the sellers of uh, dropping the price and whatnot. I can tell you, this is the one last thing that I, I wanna say is that there's gonna be a, you know, there's, there's a monumental shift going on in the, in the YouTube arena where people like to, there, there's, a, there's a whole swath of, whole swath of people that are, they don't like to challenge things. And then there's the swath of people like you guys that like to challenge ideas, traditionalism, government, society, social media, me, personal development, your own habits, whatever, you like to actually challenge it. And then you go and you do something about it. That's you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this is the first time, go subscribe to it. Uh, this will be the number one thing that changes your life delayed gratification. Catch yourself when you're doing the habit that you don't want to do. All right. Have an awesome day.